makeup look, I'm going in with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I absolutely love this, especially during these dry winter months. It keeps my skin very hydrated while prepping for foundation and giving my face a very smooth, flawless base. For foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shade 105 and I'm just using my beauty blender to blend that into my skin. I absolutely love this foundation It's one of the best that I've ever used from the drugstore and I don't really stray stray away from this foundation Because I love it that much for concealer. I'm going in with the elf 16 hour camel concealer in the shade fair warm and I'm just applying that under my eyes on the center of my chin, the bridge of my nose, and the center of my forehead. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend that out. And you wanna work fast because this concealer is very drying. And if you do have dry skin, you might notice this concealer accentuating the dryness, especially on your under eyes. So just make sure to moisturize and hydrate your skin very well before going in with this concealer, especially if you're someone who already suffers from dry skin like me. To set my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 5 and I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and pressing that powder into my skin to make sure that everything is set in place and locked and loaded and ready to go for the day. For this eye look, I'm going in with the Morphe X James Charles palette and I'm taking the shade You're Kidding on a Morphe R37 brush. We are only using two eyeshadows for this whole look, so you want to make sure that you are really, really blending. So I'm blending the shade You're Kidding into my crease and I just keep blending because you really want to get that ombre effect, you know, that very blended effect with your eyeshadow. You want it to go from lightest to darkest, but you're only working with two eyeshadows, so you've really got to blend. Um, these eyeshadows though, thankfully, aren't very hard to blend and they're very pigmented. Now I'm taking a Morphe JH35 brush and the reason for this is because of the intensity. Uh, this brush is a little more dense so I'm using it to really work that red shade into my crease, the lowest part of my crease so that can be where the most intensity is of the red and then just slightly blending up to give that ombre effect. Now I'm going in with the Lanco Lancome Ombre Hypnosis stylo eyeshadow pencil this is the shade black this will not smudge it will not go anywhere i just put a light layer of that on and then i'm working the shade spooky from the morphe x james charles palette on a morphe jh40 brush and i'm just working that into my crease trying to blend out the edge of that um eyeshadow pencil if it looks sloppy, don't worry. I'm going back in with the shade You're Kidding on a Morphe JH35 brush just to blend the edge of the red and the black because we don't want any harsh lines. We want everything very blended and seamless. Now I'm going back in with the shade Spooky on a JH40 brush and I'm just packing that black onto my eyelid again to get the intensity of the black. You don't want to lose that intensity and to really just fix up the edges of the eyeshadow. Now I'm taking the shade You're Kidding and I'm smoking that out, smoking that onto my lower lash line. I also use that eyeshadow pencil to line my waterline and now I'm just smoking out that eye pencil with um, a little bit of black shadow and I added some lashes. Now I'm taking the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Chisel Palette and I'm taking the shade Angel with my little Benefit Hula brush and I'm going to start bronze slash contouring my face using this bronzer then i'm going to take my morphe m437 brush to blend that bronzer out we don't want any harsh lines we want everything to be very blended i am always going back in with the morphe m437 brush to blend now i'm taking my morphe jh02 brush just to apply that bronzer to my forehead this brush gets the job done in two seconds it will apply your bronzer with no trouble then again, I'm going to blend that bronzer out using my Morphe M437 brush just to give, just to make sure we have no harsh lines. Like, do you see the difference that that made? Everything looks so much more blended. Now I'm taking um, that same bronzer on my Morphe M506 brush and I'm just going to contour my nose around my nostrils 
to make the appearance of a smaller nose and I blend I contour oh my gosh I can't talk I contour around my lip to give the appearance of a bigger lip and then I'm blending out that contour using my elf concealer brush another brush that I absolutely love for blending I cannot live without it then I'm going to bake the areas that I just contoured using my setting powder I just love the process of baking. I love watching it. When I'm baking, I don't know why I've got to be so symmetrical and I just absolutely love the look of it. I don't know. Can anyone relate? For blush, I'm using the Studio Makeup Luminous Loose Blush on a Morphe JH06 brush. I love this brush for applying a loose powder blush. That's a tongue twister right there. But um, it just applies loose blushes so flawlessly because it's a very um, fine brush. So the bristles aren't as dense so you don't get that overpowered um, blush look. Even though it probably looks like a lot. <laughs> I blend so it doesn't. Um, now I'm going in with the Tarte Pro Glow Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'm taking the shade Stunner and Strobe. And I'm applying this to the... Um, to my nose for my nose highlight and to the inner corner of my eyes for my inner corner highlight and then I'm also applying it to my chin but not my cheekbones I did not want my cheekbones glowing I just want to leave them matte and now I'm wiping away my bake using my morphe m437 brush and you can tell right here what a difference of blending does to the face it's amazing now I'm taking this little heart stickers you can Pretty much get a heart sticker anywhere I got these at Michaels but it doesn't even really matter like I think you can find these like at the Dollar Tree now I'm just um, taking the shade you're kidding on a Morphe E36 brush and I'm just packing that on the edges around the heart it's just very very simple like just watching it is it's very self-explanatory. Now I'm taking a little bit of the shade Spooky from the Morphe X James Charles palette and you just want to be very precise with the black because you don't want to lose the red. And then take the sticker off and you've got a cute little heart. Obviously the heart is optional and if you want a more in-depth technique on that little sticker trick, um, check out my Valentine's Day tutorial from last year and I go more in-depth of like that whole sticker heart thing. I went ahead and added the um, Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow um, in the shade um, Diamond Dust to my inner corners because I thought it would look really cute and really sparkly. I want to make my inner corners glow a little more. I went in with the Sistar Cosmetics um, Smooth Touch Auto um, Lip Liner in the shade Chocolate Mousse and now I'm going in with the Tarte. Um, not the Tarte, the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lady Balls. I absolutely love this red and I went with the red to be a little more bold but this look would look totally cute with a nude lip and then I'm setting my face with the Garnier Skin Active um, Rose, Water, Rose Water Soothing Setting Spray. This is the final Valentine's Day makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I want to go for something a little more bold this year for Valentine's Day. Um, so I was really inspired by like black and red. I think I really drew inspiration from my nails because they're gray and red. So um, I don't know, I was just feeling it. Plus my last makeup tutorial was a soft glam look which is like the opposite of this look. So I was just really feeling something bold. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do decide to recreate this makeup look and wear it for Valentine's Day, obviously you can pair it with a nude lip if this is too much for you and you can skip the heart on your eyes. Or you can wear the whole look and just be bold. But if you do decide to recreate this makeup look, please make sure to tag me or DM me in your pictures because I always love seeing your guys' recreations. It makes me so happy. So yeah, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to tag me in your recreations. I hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!